my friends. Right now it's summer break, and I'm spending summer vacation. And I'm s spending summer break on vacation at Virginia Beach. So, do you like feeding seagulls? Well, I do. So today, we're going to build a new game in Scratch called Feeding Seagulls. It is what it's called. I'll show you how to use clones in Scratch and how to simulate gravity in your game. So first, what are clones? Clones are just copies of sprites. So if you need a, a many of one object, instead of instead of making a bunch a bunch of sprites, you can just copy you can just use clones. Okay, let's go. So here's my the beginning of my game. I have my background ready. And my baker, which is going to be me, he has my face there. So I'm going to feed the seagulls with this bread. So I made this sprite with the with this with the little program to to simulate the waves. This program uh makes you able to uh, makes you able to be to be turning your baker so with his arrow you can aim where you're shooting the bread. And I'm also going to make a program that lets you change how fast the bread is going to fly. Also, we also need the bread to have the same direction as the baker. Now I'm going to make a program that lets you change the speed of the bread. For some reason the bread's not going out. Let me figure out what's wrong. Honestly, this took me a, li a pretty long time to, s to solve this problem. But the problem was actually just because, just because the bread was touching the edge. So it is touching the edge at, in this position and you cannot see it because it is behind the baker. So now let's fix it. Thank you. 
Now everything's working fine. I would want to see how my speed changes, but I don't want it to be shown like in a variable way. So I made up something to replace that variable way. So here's how it works. Now you can now you can see everything. Now you can see how fast your launch speed is and if if you have any better ideas then you can always write in the comments. So let's do the gravity part now. If you don't know about gravity, then I then I recommend you to check this video. I found this video very good and helpful but I'm sure all of you threw something and earlier or late it got back on the ground right and this is just simply physics so let's let's have our bread behave the same way it's gonna go down for gravity simulation we need some more variables <laughs> these commands actually simulate gravity. Simple enough, right? So now our bread falls like in real life. And also it depends on the launch speed. Also, if you want, you can change your gravity value. Now let's move on to, our, to making our seagulls, the ones that we want to feed. So I already drew the sprite, and, and, every, and the sprite's ready for, for the program. So, and now's the time to start with the clones. So now, it would be easier to hide the initial sprite and just work with the clones. So that's what I'm going to do. Why would it be easier? Because you wouldn't have to duplicate and create new command, the same commands for your initial sprites and your clones. Actually, the only 
only difference between coding your initial sprite and your clone is is that in, when you're in, you're you're using your initial sprite, you just have to use when green flag clicked and then your commands. But in a clone, you you just have to instead of green flag clicked, you just have to use when I start as a clone. So these commands will work for every new created clone. So here I'm gonna use one more variable to count how much seagulls there are, and and to, at the end of the game. So here we are as you see we have 10 seagulls and we and we made them just by one sprite. And and as you see just by just by two commands we can control all 10 seagulls. So now let's animate our seagulls so they look much better when they're flying. So now I want to add the part when the seagull catches the bread. game more fun I'm gonna add sprites sounds if you've seen my previous videos then you know what then you know what I'm gonna be doing so so I'm not gonna repeat the steps over and over again but let's just see what what the finished project is gonna look like I hope you like this video, and if you want to play this game on Scratch, then just click the link below, and it will send you right there. And and please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Bye.